Hey guys, it's me, Pamela, from MemphisFoodTrader.blogspot.com and I am doing a food trader visit and so I'm going to try out this uh, food truck, a Colombian food truck and I am here at Cordova Pit Stop Food Truck Park. Alright, so this is the spot I want to try. I saw this on Facebook and I thought it was so neat that they had a little top part on the truck where you can eat on. This called Happy Trailer. It is Colombian food, so we're going to try a few items and see how it is. Alright, so this is the view from the top. I am on top of the truck while I wait on my food. All right, so the food came out pretty quickly. So for the kids, I got their regular hamburger. They do have a, like a happy hamburger that's double stack, but for my kids, they want plain things. So you can see it comes with like white cheese. And they were even so nice as to cut it for me because they knew it was for my kids. They did ketchup on the side. And these fries look really nice and fluffy. Oh, that looks nice. I like that shape. Uh, nice and light and crispy on the outside. Well, it's nice and fluffy on the inside. Good fry. Got some horchata for drinks. It has whoa, loads of cinnamon. Let's taste it and see if it's grainy or anything like that. Nope, super smooth. That's that's really good horchata. I like that. It's not powdery, you know, which I guess some people use the powder the instant, but this was strained nicely if they did it from scratch very good I was quite torn about what sort of empan um, arepa to get so I asked for you know the best seller and he told me to get the um, happy arepa which was stuffed with all sorts of meats so I think it has like three different types of meat in there at least beef there's ham I think there might be chicken in there and cheese and then this I believe is the chicken empanada it is huge look how big that is and the cheese is even oozing out. Oh, that looks so good. And here's, I guess, some, maybe some sort of guac, creamy guac or something. All right, so I'm gonna, it's hot. But look at that cheese, guys. Oh my God. Super stretchy. It looks so good. Even right, the test this sauce out, or cream or guacamole. We'll just see how it is. It's not. I don't know what this is. Honestly, it's not really guacamole. It's not really soft. It's creamy. It's got cilantro, I think, in it. But besides that, I'm not really sure what it is. It's not spicy, but it's creamy. It's a little bit... Maybe it's kind of like got mayonnaise in it. I'm not even sure. But hopefully it'll be good as a dipping sauce. I asked if they have plantains, and he said yes, and it can come with cheese. So I opted for it. I've never had plantains with cheese before, but I love that caramelization, so I can't wait to try that. But I just want to taste a little bit of it. Oh my goodness. Um, that is so nice and sweet. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna try this little cheese with a little piece and see, you know, is cheese good with um plantains? Oh, it's hot. I don't have a fork. Oh my god. It changes the flavor of it. It's not bad. Not bad, y'all. We'll have to try it. Here's a cross section of the hamburger. Let's take a nibble. It's really my, my kids' meal, so I'm just going to take a little nibble. Quality control. Mommy. Yeah. That's a decent burger, decent burger. I have to say, though, I really like the fries. I'm going to take one more. Was just the white cheese with the shredded chicken, or there's some sort of cream sauce or a creamy, you know, the creamy sauce. It looks so nicely fried. I would dip it in that green sauce that I still don't really know what it is. Can I hear the crunch? Very good with the sauce. It's nice and light and crispy. It's not, you know, like deep fried to where it's kind of hard and hurts your mouth. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Okay, can y'all see this monstrosity? It is Q 
humongous. I've never seen an arepa this big before. Let's take a bite with the one, the side with all the meat. Mmm. There's some nice smoky flavors in that meat. It's good. That pulled beef is really good. Kind of see there's cheese in here. I think there's a little bit of cheese. Probably would like more cheese, but it's not thick. <clears throat> the rape itself isn't thick, so actually the filling to the ratio is really nice. I like that. All right, I'm gonna keep eating and I will give you a final verdict at the end. Bye. All right, I am stuffed. I didn't even eat half of my order. Everything was so stuffed with meat. They were so generous. Um, and it was quite affordable. All Everything that I got was $40 and I have enough leftover for probably like two more people for lunch. So I highly recommend them. Um, the only thing with the arepa that I had, which was like the happy arepa, was I didn't really care for the, the ham per se, but the both the empanada that I had, which was chicken, and then the beef that was inside of the arepa, they were pulled um, or shredded, but they were not dry. They were so soft and fluffy. Usually when you, you know have shredded meat, it's very dry. This was the opposite of dry. Um, also, as far as if you like sauces, again, this was not the green sauce that I had, which uh, I feel like it tasted like mayonnaise. Um, it definitely is not spicy, but if you need some sauce, you just like to cover things with sauce i would ask for some extra um i don't think the one or two cups they had was enough for what i had but again i highly recommend them and uh, please check this place out i'll give all the information in the description box thank you guys for watching please give a thumbs up if you like these sort of food videos and thank you guys to my subscribers if you haven't subscribed and you like these videos please press subscribe and i will see you guys at the next stop bye guys